on behalf of uh, the EFD, Mrs. Andreasen, for two and a half minutes. Mr. President, colleagues, this Parliament has joined the European Commission in demanding almost a 6% increase for the 2011 budget at the time when national governments are proposing significant cuts to their own budgets. Those who defend the increase argue that extra funding is required to cover the new competences arising from the Lisbon Treaty. In fact, I do not remember having heard or anybody mentioning at the time of ratification that there would be any cost associated and what this cost would be. Not even today do we have a clear idea about what the Lisbon Treaty implementation will cost the taxpayer. It is also alleged that in times of crisis, austerity is not the right answer, that it is necessary to spend more on education, on renewable energy, etc., etc. Looking at the underspend for the past few years, it is clear that the EU does not succeed in producing an efficient budget. And this failure is linked to the irregularities identified by the European Court of Auditors every year. And yet again, the biggest increase that is being proposed, a 17% increase, goes to the cohesion funds, the area where the auditors report the highest number of irregularities. But if I find it stunning that in times of crisis this EU is looking to increase its own budget, I find it more difficult to explain that the European Parliament wants to double its own entertainment budget. Are we saying that the UK is axing child benefits and university funding, postponing school building schemes and making other painful cuts just to fund more champagne and oysters for the European Parliament? Is it reasonable for the UK to make military spending cuts while its net contribution to the European Union will increase from around £6 billion to £8 billion in the next couple of years? This is simply unacceptable for the British people. Thank you. Thank you very much.